briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A 1978 Minnesota Supreme Court case, Berg v. Wiley, addressed the issue of landlords locking tenants out without following proper legal procedures. A dispute arose between Wiley Enterprises, Inc. and Rodney A. Wiley as landlords and a Family Affair Restaurant, Inc. as the tenant. The tenant was accused of unauthorized modifications to the building's structure and potential health code violations. On the last day the restaurant was open, the tenant placed a sign in the window and subsequently found themselves locked out by the landlord. The tenant filed a damage action against the landlord, leading the court to evaluate the legality of the lockout. The trial court determined the landlord's actions to be forcible and wrongful as a matter of law, awarding damages to the tenant. The landlord subsequently appealed this decision. The Minnesota Supreme Court affirmed the trial court's decision, ruling that the landlord's use of self-help to lock out the tenant was wrongful and not allowed in modern society. The court emphasized the importance of following judicial processes for lawfully dispossessing a tenant. As a result, the landlord was held responsible for bearing the loss caused by the lockout. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. Be